Hi there, Joker here. Today is new release day at Spabinders and I will be showing you two collections. This one is called Sealed for Summer and I don't have all the, all the products. There are quite a lot of products in this collection but I do have some. Uh, this is uh, kind of like a bundle of dyes, glimmer plate and a stencil that I will show you how it works and then there is this simple shape then another flower uh, glimmer plate and die then also this gorgeous embossing folder 3d embossing folder sorry this one is another 3d embossing folder also very beautiful um so i'm starting <laughs> i'm always starting with uh, glimmer to get that out of the way and of course, you already know I cannot foil to save my life, but I will anyway show you how that works. Uh, it will still work out. And then I foiled two of these flowers, I think two or three, maybe, maybe three. I don't remember, but some of them are actually quite good. And then uh, there was one that was kind of um a bit underfoiled so uh, the idea here is that you can add whatever color you want um to these letters and then you can die cut them and they will have a nice uh foiled edge they will not have actually that was not clear to me they will not have this um white foiled edge they will look a lot more pretty once you uh, die cut them. I could save some. Oh, by the way, this is another mistake I made. I was too lazy to clean up that stencil, and then of course I made a muddy color with uh, blue and uh, pinkish, like a coral color. But it will work as well. <laughs> Everything works out fine. So some of the letters uh, overfoiled, some of them underfoiled. Well, actually not overfoiled, the, only the edge is overfoiled. So this is a trick here. You foil those little marks as well with your plate. And then that helps you um, lining up the die. And now you will see what I meant by the foiled edges. They are much uh, thinner than... Uh, you see th that actually I really like that. Um, once I die cut um, everything from the panel, I really liked what was left in the panel, but I didn't know how to use it because uh, the the letters are kind of in a random shape. You know, it's not like a oh, how should I put this? It's not like a nice organized <laughs> ABC that I could use. So, but I, I really like that. Maybe you have some ideas with that. Okay, so then my next favorite thing to do is, um, especially with foiled flowers, because I don't like the color. So um, I keep the foiled flower simple and just, you know, one color. And in my case, that's mostly white and then with gold foil. And I add the color... Um, using paper strips mostly but you can obviously um, create other um, colorful backgrounds just be creative with other shapes as well geometric shapes and other things like that but um, <laughs> I just I just love adding all these colors and this is an easy way and obviously you can also use double-sided um, adhesive here if that's what you prefer. I like um, pressing my paper strips really close to each other so that there are no gaps and I can only do this with um, um, when I use the um, liquid glue so I prefer that. Um, and then I die cut because I really wanted to use that shape, uh, that oval shape but then I saw this frame and I really liked it so I'm gonna make that work as well. I had no plans for that one first um and I actually like how that looks with the flowers but then that's not what I'm gonna do and if I have time I'm gonna explain why I didn't do that 
So with the other panel, the bigger pl- panel that I did, I, uh, if you've been following me for a while, I like to do this, um, add, um, to, to, to add some embossing over the uh, paper strips. And then here's this gorgeous, this is now my favorite, I think, <laughs> um, embossing folder. Look at how, how pretty that's going to be. All this dimension and all this detail is just so pretty. Unbelievable, really. So I die cut some more of these ovals. I'm creating five by seven inch cards again. Um, added some double sided adhesive to that panel so that it kind of uh, stretches or, you know, it, that it's going to be flat uh, from all the water. And then I'm adding uh, an extra layer of white uh, cardstock to the color cardstock so it's all nice and dimensional. For this, I'm not now not using foam tape because that would be two dimensional. <laughs> and this is really gonna be very simple. I'm just going to add this kind of in the middle and then I'll layer that floral over it. And I, by the way, I did die cut this um, floral from white cardstock as well and I uh, layered that up so that it's nice and sturdy and I used a really um well not very thick foam tape for this and for my sentiment I I also die cut the letters you know the um, the ones that you can uh, the, the dies that you can use with the foiled letters, you can also just use on their own, obviously. So I die cut them from every color that I'm using today. So I had little piles of colorful letters everywhere. Um, in the meantime, I moved on to my next card. And again, I'm creating a, a white heavyweight cardstock panel uh, with... Um, well, I'm adding some foam, not foam, sorry, <laughs> double-sided adhesive on top of it that I'm going to add to my um, uh, 3D embossed panel again so that it flattens out better. Um, I don't actually add a lot of water. I know um, some of you suggested I use some wet wipes. I always forget to buy it at the grocery store. Um, ever since my kid hasn't been that age, it just doesn't come to my mind. But I don't use a lot of water. Still, there's warping. I prefer my projects to be flat, so that's what I do. Um, and now I did not quite have an idea for this one. I like to not cover up a lot of the um, that beautiful embossed tripe background but I wanted to add a longer sentiment and while this is actually not long but because the letters are quite large um, it is still long and I needed space for this so I needed a larger oval shape but I mean you can still you can still uh, see enough of that uh, striped background I think and all the colors so what I did here um, I used basically almost well almost all the colors that I die cut the letters from and I mixed in some of the foiled letters I had to go through that pile of foiled letters and check what I had that was not messed up because if you remember I had some um under foiled um letters especially in the middle of the um where I the, the way I pa placed my glimmer plates in the middle, I had underfoiling, so that was always the same letters. So I had to kind of do a, a random selection, so to say. Um, and then I don't know if it was this one. I think it was maybe this one that I messed up, the, or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. One of these ovals, I messed up the layering. I couldn't pull it apart anymore. And then on the top, I had more 
uh, space and then at the bottom, I think. But it might have been that one. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Um, so as you see, I'm adding a lot of layers here to create some dimension. And this is why I'm not placing the uh, flowers behind and in front, if you know what I mean. Um, because then it would not look very nice, I think. And especially that the uh, floral die cut is also two layers of cardstock. Uh, I don't think it would look good. And then because I'd never planned to use this, I put some, um, what is that, yellow tape for die cutting on top of that um, paper. And so it removed a little bit of the paper. So I'm just trying to cover that up. And then there is this flower that did not turn out so nicely, the, the foiling. So I want to trim off that part. So in the end, I decided not to add that to this card, but I will add it to another card where I can use just a part of that uh, die cut. So in this case, I want to, like I said, I want to cover up that uh, the left top uh, corner. So I'm going to add the floral die cut over that. So I'm going to gonna try to place it in a way that that covers that little corner. And then I'll just add some um, letters to this for the sentiment. I really love that off. I'm, I'm obsessed with um, alphabet dyes, especially, well, actually all kinds of sizes because I love the really large ones as well. And I love these small ones where they are not too small. Uh, you can cover even an entire background with them. If you come up with a nice long sentiment, I'm just really bad with sentiments. <laughs> I probably could have Googled something, but um, I guess I was too lazy for even that. <laughs> anyway, here again, I mixed and... Uh, no, I didn't want, I wanted to say mixed and match, but I didn't match anything. So I just um, mixed all the letters or all the colors together again um, for that sentiment. And then I think this is the last card. Yeah, I think, yeah, fairly certain that this is the last card. I <laughs> had to stop the video for a second because I literally don't remember adding white cardstock to this um, panel and embossing the two together. But clearly it's white, so I must have done that. And probably it's because this um, particular uh, basil textured cardstock is uh, quite thin, but I have no memories whatsoever adding that. But you see it as well that it's white, so <laughs> I must have. Um, okay, so I created this uh, card. I wasn't actually planning to make so many cards, but I created this because I really wanted to use that um, striped oval, which was my original plan. So I am also using a part of that die, uh, die cut that I told you the uh, foiling was not quite nice. Um, so I trimmed off that part and now I'm adding some foam tape to raise that small, um, part. And again, I'm just layering some of these oval shapes, um, uh, just adding some white to the background so that it stands out more. It's like a white frame. And this time I'm using liquid glue to add uh, everything. And even the 3D embossing adds a lot of texture and dimension. So um, sometimes I don't feel like adding foam tape in, in these cases. And now I'll um, layer some white um, letters together. I think I used two layers for this and I'm using white because that stands out more and I'm being very creative with my sentiments again but 
this is about the length that fits in that spot. Uh, I probably could have created hugs, which is just as creative, but <laughs> okay. Okay, so here are my cards. I hope you like them. I hope I could give you some ideas. It's a beautiful collection. Check out also the other pieces as well that I uh, don't have. Um, thank you very much for watching and check out the other video as well on my channel today. Bye-bye.